Today, world food security and environmental sustainability are at risk due to new threats and crisis. The stability and future of the food systems worldwide depend on the family farmers that every day provide about 80% of the food that feeds our planet. The United Nations Decade of Family Farming offers a framework for countries to promote policies and investments to put family farming at the center of rural transformations towards sustainable food systems. The region holds around 60% of the world's population and is home to the majority of family farmers, including small-scale farmers, fishers and livestock producers. Family farmers ensure food security and nutrition in the region, maintain natural resources and contribute to the wealth of rural communities. They are major investors in the agricultural sector and contribute significantly to the growth of the rural economies. They are custodians of biodiversity for food and agriculture, linking identity and social values and local knowledge with innovations. Family farmers are also the engine of the economic, environmental, social and cultural sustainability of agriculture in the Asia and Pacific region, but they often suffer from food insecurity and malnutrition due to their vulnerability to shocks and crisis, as well as to unequal access resources and development opportunities. Many small-scale farmers, fishers, indigenous peoples and pastoralists are displaced due to the lack of legal recognition of their customary tenure rights. Rural women have limited access to productive resources, with reduced capacity to generate marketable surpluses, and receive reduced wage income from their work on the farm. Up to 85% of the work is performed by women, but they generate barely 20% of the family income. These unfair conditions and the lack of services in rural areas cause the migration of young farmers and men, threatening the generational renewal of farms and villages. To revert these trends, an in-depth process of change is required, improving policies and investments to exploit the full potential of family farming in different countries of the AP region. The UN Decade of Family Farming offers a framework to inspire new policies, services and investments. This will help the advice in family farming as a way to ensure food security and sustainable food systems building on national efforts as well as the resilience and the capacities of family farmers themselves. The Decade's Global Action Plan provides guidance to unleash the potential of family farmers. The Asia-Pacific region is at the forefront of this effort. National plans have already been approved or are being developed in several countries. Other countries are starting the process. In addition to the commitment of the government, and we have to acknowledge the paramount contributions that the farmers' organizations are making to the decade, and their role in the response to the pandemic, safeguarding their members and delivering alternative services. Our food system is basically broken and that's why we need to fix it. So we are to build back better. We think that the food systems that we have right now should be sustainable, just, resilient and inclusive. So what do we mean by this? So because farmers produce food and the farmers need their natural resources like land, water, forest and seeds. So these resources must be accessible. They must have access and control over these resources. Also, to be resilient, we need to promote agroecological, climate resilient technologies and innovations. Also, we need to increase the market power of the farmers by having stronger governance in the value chains and lastly because we know that women farmers and the youth are marginalized and the youth are not attracted to farming so we need to empower our women members and our youth members so that they can have uh, greater access uh, increased access equal rights to all opportunities actually when covid came there was a greater uh, again a realization from all sectors of society that we need healthy and nutritious food. Family farmers can produce this food and can bring this food to the market. So for UNDFF, our call is for governments and for development partners to make 
policies and implement programs that will recognize and that will promote the role of family farmers. AgriEyes is an inclusive, for-purpose agro-social enterprise in the Philippines that aims to eradicate uh, poverty in the farming and fishing communities in the country. So, so far for the last six years, it's been in the core of our work that the farmers are the change makers in the formula of solving the problems in food systems. And focusing on family farming is actually one of our major goals to work with. So far, we have four major areas that we're working with family farms. One is focusing on the women and the farms because we believe that the more we empower the mothers, the women in the farming community, it's an investment to the entire family because they're the ones budgeting for their home and cooking nutritious food for their children. Uh, second one, we have a farm school. So far, more than 50% of our farm school are women and most of them, they own family farms that would have a hectareage from one to two hectares, smallholder farming. And we've been working with them and diversifying their sources of income from coconut to turmeric and ginger to, to poultry and now livestock inclusion so that they have different sources of income. And the most magnificent so far that we're doing right now is the Move Food Initiative during this pandemic. We've been working with almost 16,000 farmers, and most of these farmers are smallholder farmers, meaning they are family farms. And uh, we also have an agria rescue kitchen that also give justice to save the food waste in the food supply chain. The government of the Philippines undertook important concrete actions promoting family farming. We are likewise empowering farmers' cooperatives and associations and young agripreneurs by providing much-needed financial support. We are engaging state universities and colleges, government agencies and business development services to mentor the beneficiaries of programs such as the capital access for young agripreneurs Kaya and Agri Negocio Program, ANIO. The country has recently legislated the Sagip Saka Act that establishes the Farmers and Fisher Folk Enterprise Development Program. Prior to this, as recognition of the significant contributions of family farmers in achieving economic and sustainable development, the Philippines established the Magna Carta of Small Farmers. Lastly, to address the vulnerabilities of our current food systems due to COVID-19 pandemic, the Philippine Department of Agriculture has crafted a new food security framework translated into the Plant, Plant, Plant program to help the agri and fishery sector to survive, reboot, and grow. Maraming salamat po. The action plan has been implemented since the beginning of this year. This program aims to increase food availability, accessibility, and utilization as well as to improve family farmer income. The target of this program are to reduce the food vulnerability as reflected in the food security and vulnerability atlas from 18% in 2018 to 10% in 2024 and also to reduce the poverty rate from 9.8% to 6.5% in 2024. The action plan was developed as the result from the dynamic dialogue between the government, researcher, and NGO for various stakeholders to formulate the program in line with strengthening the rule of family farming. 
is more important during the COVID-19 pandemic in which this program is not only to provide healthy local food, reduce food expenditure and increase household income, but also could create job opportunity for the family. Third of the population in Nepal are engaged in agriculture and uh, among them uh, most of the population, most of the farmers they are the small scale and medium scale farmers. And thus our uh, all agricultural uh, program focus is towards uh, the upliftment of this small and medium scale uh, family farming. So uh, we have launched several uh, awareness programs, several uh, campaigns uh, to raise the uh, issues of this uh, family farming and uh, the technologies, the um, awareness um, campaigns and other activities uh, to, to uplift the farmers uh, to, to raise their issues at national level. This national plan we are mainly focusing towards the commercialization, small scale commercialization of uh, our indigenous commodities, our uh, fruits, our uh, vegetables, and also small scale poultry and, and other commodities. And uh, we are more focused towards the uh, youths. Our um, main focus is to raise the awareness, to, to flow the information, to uh, give their, uh, them the access to finance, access to market, access to uh, premium price and, and also uh, to, uh, to make them uh, agri business uh, persons, agri entrepreneurs. The, the livelihood and economic status of the farmers uh, will be enhanced and uh, they, will, uh, they will gain the sustainable income uh, for their livelihood and uh, as a whole the nation uh, will be um, uh, enriched with, with their economic upliftment. We are uh, working together uh, with uh, national level and international level organizations um, in this issue of family farming to, uh, to promote and to enhance uh, the, these issues at the sub-national level and um, for the benefit of uh, farmers, uh, small scale farmers. Most important thing uh, is uh, to, uh, to make our agriculture sustainable and to make our farmers uh, sustainable and resilient in this regard. The COVID-19, the message is very clear that we have to focus on sustainable agriculture and uh, family farming is more uh, sustainable in this uh, regard. Many tend to forget how fundamentally important family farming is for our food system. Indeed, if we want to achieve a global food system, that produces enough nutritious food at affordable prices within planetary boundaries, there is no way we can do that without supporting and underpinning family farming. Unfortunately, our global food system is in a crisis. 690 million people don't get enough food every day. 2 billion people don't get enough nutritious food. And on top of that comes the climate crisis and now also COVID-19. Family farming is often more sustainable when it comes to, for example, production per unit, it's higher. When it comes to safeguarding biodiversity, it's better. And we will not be able to build back better if we do not put a lot of emphasis on developing family farming. In the Asia Pacific region, for example, 80% of food production stems from family farms. And we can underpin and support better by partnering with governments to develop national action plans, national policies generally, and investment schemes. And that's what we really encourage all governments uh, to do. Moving forward, a world free from hunger and inequalities means creating a new normal based on people-centered development, valuing family farmers as agents of change, and ensuring generations renewal and gender equality in the rural areas. The years to come will require new efforts 
and the commitment of the governments, farmers' organizations, and the international community to push the UNDFF agent forward in the Asia-Pacific region, delivering policies, services, and investments that will benefit family farmers. Let us put the family farming at the center of the national policy and the Asia-Pacific regional agenda to lead the transformation towards a new and more inclusive normal for this decade and beyond. This is essential to achieve the SDG2 and indeed most of SDGs and to ensure the better future for the region and the world. Family farmers are the agents of change for a zero hunger and a sustainable world. By supporting family farming, we ensure our future. Let us join forces and do it. <laughs>